A fuse has been lit under Britain. Keir Starmer and the lovey media establishment can't just call everyone far right and hope this problem goes away. Now, let me make something very, very clear. Setting migrant hotels on fire is wrong. Having swastika tattoos is wrong. Being a racist is wrong. Those things are far right and there is no place for them in British society. However, there are millions and millions of ordinary people in Britain who are not far right. They're just fed up of being ignored and lied to about their legitimate concerns by politicians and the establishment media. They don't like the fact that there was little to no political will to call out grooming gangs. They don't like the fact that as of Friday, apparently more than 3,000 illegal immigrants have come across the channel since Labour strapped the Rwanda scheme and that we're all paying for that. They don't like the fact that an asylum seeker stabbed an elderly man to death in Hartlepool or that another one stabbed a young lad to death in Bournemouth or that we now have machete madness every single day. They don't like the idea, do they? that the media tries to gaslight them sometimes. Like the BBC, saying 27 police officers were injured during a largely peaceful anti-racism protest. Or Sky News, wanting to talk about the far-right problem on the streets, but seemingly getting a bit squiffy and trying to avoid what appeared to be ethnic minority males with weapons, also on the same streets. Um, we've got here, we're just going to move away because this... Uh... Um, with weapons, potential weapons in his hand, he said to me, no, it's all right, you're safe, but, you know, you can just see the level of activity. Yeah, I mean, is it, is it really just a far-right problem, this? Or ITV thinking that at this moment in time, when our government and our Home Secretary specifically appear to have lost control of Britain, that it's a good idea for Yvette Cooper to be interviewed by her own husband. Can I ask, um, because we've talked about this a few times, in uh, the last uh, few days, like many of our viewers will have done at home. What can be done, what should be done now by the social media companies and the police and the government to stop this happening? Because it's been happening for a week. Well, you're right, Ed, that we have seen these uh, the, uh, what things that are appearing online that are clearly criminal. Oh, you're right, Ed, as I said to you over breakfast this morning. I mean, come on, people don't like being told that they're racist that the British countryside is racist, that they need to pay reparations, that our national history is all evil, that we've got unconscious bias, and that poor white working class people have some kind of privilege that they need to repent and feel guilty about. And they've been told all that stuff for a very long time, haven't they? People don't like the idea that if you do this... We demand that these police officers are not just stripped of their job, but they are put on trial, just like we would be. If we assaulted any police officers now, we would end up in the dock. Then our politicians won't call you out, and our police don't seem to want to come after you. But if you want to go and watch an England game, like the Euros final, and have a few beers with your mates, the police might nick you, right? I will say it again, for the avoidance of any doubt in all of this, there is no place for far-right criminality in Britain. But there are millions and millions and millions of people who are just fed up. And I don't think we have a Prime Minister who is willing or able to admit that these people have perfectly legitimate concerns about things like mass immigration, illegal immigration, integration, multiculturalism and crime. And if he can't even acknowledge it, then he certainly can't deal with any of it, can he? Now, I don't worry that our Prime Minister wants to call out the far right. I actually worry that he might want to call millions of normal people far right as well. Let's get the thoughts of my panel this evening. We've got Express columnist Carol Malone. I'm joined by journalist Benjamin Butterworth and former Cabinet Minister as well for the Tories. Michelle Donnellan. Look, again, just before we get stuck into this, it is the ongoing situation in Birmingham, right? And we, we brought you a short clip of it, but if you're just joining us, I do want to remind us of, of what has just taken place outside a pub in Birmingham, if that's possible, which, again, a warning to people, a warning to people, distressing scenes. I'm going to play it to you because th this is happening, right? This is happening uh, now. Let's do it. So this is outside a pub, right, in Birmingham, and, and it appears as well that a little bit later on, there was a man getting battered by what appears to be this group of people. Let's see if we can play that as well. Right. Yeah, he's a man having his head literally kicked in outside a pub in Birmingham, 
Right. Now, obviously, we don't know what was said in the run-up to that. We can only see what we're seeing on this footage here. You've got the Palestine flags, you've got general lawlessness disorder, all of that stuff. Now, Carol, that's... That's not the far right, is it? No, and, well, and we can see what it is. Um, you know, nothing justifies the violence. You know, the actions of the mob are inexcusable. However, this has all got to be seen in a much broader context. You know, after the fears and worries about people after 20 years of uncontrolled, both legal and illegal immigration, have now they've been festering and they've now boiled over. And and. These people are not far right. They're not stupid either. They're just angry. They're just really angry and they're right to be angry. But what we're seeing here now is, it, it is, this is the mob. This is the mob. But there's a lot of ordinary people who took to the streets at the weekend, a lot of ordinary mums and dads who do not like the world that their kids are going to grow up in. They're seeing their kids stabbed mm. when they go to a dance class. They don't want their kids growing up in that and they're protesting now and they're angry. No, I, I just want, I do want to, um, make one thing very clear as well, because I've actually just been told that there's this this, this tweet. That I, I'll, I'll read this to you now, and then Benjamin, I will, I will come to you because I know you've got you've got different views on this. So, uh, this is uh, from LBC reporter Fraser Knight, who was reporting from Birmingham tonight. Now he's saying that this has happened. As a reporter, I have just been chased out of an area of East Birmingham by groups of Asian men who had come out to, quote, protect their community against a planned far-right demonstration. Cars followed us, we had abuse shouted at us, and at one point, a group of around six men ran after us down a road with what looked like a weapon. We were forced to run. The far-right didn't appear to show up, but the community here was on edge waiting and ready for them. They were on all corners of the roundabout and lined the roads that surrounded it. We were warned that we'd regret it if we hung around. We are safe now. All right, now, Benjamin, I have said several times over the course of this show, and I want to reiterate this, yeah, walking around with a swastika on your back or torching a migrant hotel, shouting racist abuse, all of that stuff, right? It's far right, it's disgusting, it's wrong. But uh, if people are upset about this now, I, I worry that Keir Starmer might try to label people with genuine concerns as being far right as well. Mm. No, I think, you know, if you look back to what happened in Southport, the UK editor of ITV News, Paul Brand, spoke about the extreme abuse that they faced from some of the white men there. So this is an attitude to the media that is dangerous and anti-democracy, and you're seeing it from different people. I don't accept that the people that have been rioting in recent days, not the Muslim ones, the, the white men, that that is because they care about immigration or integration. They want an excuse to behave like this. They are thugs. And I actually think it's insulting to people that care about that issue so the to put them in the, the same basket. What's the excuse for them Muslims? Well, you? they are men of the same description. They are violent thugs that want an excuse to do this. But I think Britain is better than trying to use that as an excuse to inflame more racial hatred between these two communities. But do you know neither, those, neither those Muslim men nor the white rioters in recent days mm. or anything like the vast majority of but people on this I don't, I don't think there is any excuse for the type of behaviour that we've seen. You know, I was hearing the other day about this pregnant lady that was about to give birth and she was too afraid about going into labour and how she was going to get to the hospital because she lived in a city centre. You know, this is the impact on real people that probably too are angry about immigration, both legal and illegal. Angry about what the previous government did and about this government dismantling all of the tools to deal with it. But rioting and causing chaos in communities is not the answer. And I don't think it's actually what people are trying to mm. achieve. I think they're just jumping on a bandwagon. No, but the, the, things happen, don't they? When, when you have, and, and I'm talking about the Tories as well here, yeah, not just Labour. The Tories didn't listen. People feel disenfranchised. They feel that the elites aren't listening to them, the problems These they have. These people and are just finish. feral. They could care but less about the, politics. The Labour go government, you know, have, they're not just labelling people who protest now as far right. They've been doing it for years. But let, let's be clear, these are not protesters. These are mm. rioters that are causing mass destruction are, to their communities but I, but I, and to our I, global image. But I think there are many more people mm -hmm. who, who aren't on the streets, aren't out there with weapons, who are frustrated well, the, at this point the last government. Absolutely, effort. and immigration was the yeah. issue of, of the election. But normal people that care about that are not going and bashing no. down their, their, their shops and, when and people looting. People don't get listened to. Because I don't believe... I don't think it is in modern no. Britain. We I, cannot I excuse this type of behaviour at all. I'm not excusing all. it. I'm just saying this, this is the result of, of things festering. I think, I think there's a concern, and, and we'll round off on this, but I think there's a concern, right, that there are, there's a, there's a difference between the type of people 
who I have interviewed over the course of the last mm. two and a bit years on shows like this, who have always been very concerned and not particularly like the idea of a migrant hotel being right around the corner. Absolutely. They also don't want to torch it down. Yeah. Like that, that, yeah. There's, there's exactly. a difference between those yes. people. But now I worry that because some of the rhetoric that has been used about yeah. far right, this, that and the other, that those same people who would stand with a placard outside a migrant hotel mm -hmm. would now be branded horrific far-right racists. Yes. And, and I wonder whether or not our Prime Minister has deliberately done that, Benjamin. No, he's called a spade a spade. These are far right he's thugs, and he's nothing. right to call it. Mm. What would be wrong if is for him to, to to pussyfoot around the issue because he was afraid? Look, the thing is, you say they're not being listened to. They're the not. problem is, these people are listening All to of lies. Us aren't being the amount of misinformation, what happened in Southport, the lie about what had allegedly happened, got round the world before the truth had it even been released by police. It doesn't matter whether there's a lie and, on and social remember, media. That, it doesn't give you carte what, blanche to, to what, start What led riots. to these riots starting was a lie about who was alleged to have committed those but, murders. Just final, final words to, to you on the show, because. I think that, that um, let's let's shift away from the, the actual proper criminal mm. stuff, right? Yeah, that's because that's that's that. And we, yeah, we've called yeah. that loads of times. There is, I think, a groundswell of millions and millions yeah. of people who have not felt listened to, who have Absolutely. felt demonised, who are sick and tired of being told that this country is racist, that the countryside's yeah, racist, yeah. all that stuff. What do we do about that? Well, I think I think you're right. There is that gr groundswell of anger, and and that was very um, live in the election, and it's not gone anywhere. That anger, despite the, the changing in government, and I think what's happening now is quite dangerous because people might actually be afraid to talk up about these issues mm. because they will be branded the same as the rioters, and then that anger is just going to fester and get worse. How do we deal with it? By tackling the issues that these people actually care about but head on. But, but Labour aren't going to do it. The, the well, they're not. Things so it's going to get worse. put in place to safeguard, mm -hmm. to try and stop uh, immigration. They're dismantling the Illegal one by Immigration one. Act, Rwanda. They've let the new visa system mm -hmm. where the Tories put in a thing that you had to have 38 grand joint income before you could come. It's husband and right. wife. They're scrapping that. All so right. all the controls have been scrapped now. There's well, nothing. Well, look, yeah. this, this thing, I, I, you know, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I think if the policy is to try to throw a big far-right blanket over people and this problem goes away, then I, I think I was going to find out the mm. hard way that that's not really going to work and, and that is a problem for people.